What's up dudes? Welcome back to Guitar Tuesday on Garage Fan and Beyond. Guitar Tuesdays, I'm really having fun doing this. So, uh, anyway, so if you don't know, we're gonna be working on my inexpensive uh, Epiphone SG, which I got at a garage sale for 25 bucks with a cracked neck on it. And uh, if you don't, if you haven't seen the first video, check out the first vlog on this guitar. But anyway, we're just gonna be talking about and doing the actual repair today. Now, disclaimer here. Um, by all accounts, if you're like if you're a luthier or a guitar repair guy, you're about to cringe through the entire video because technically I'm doing this not the exactly right way. I, I definitely think it's going to work and I think it's going to hold, but I don't have the proper clamps and I don't have the proper stuff to like you know go on the back of the neck to hold the clamp in place. But what I do have, and this is just me being me cheap and relatively creative. I have a couple of capos that have um, adjustment knobs, right? And so there's a nice rubbery part, obviously, on here. So when I press down on the fret board, not the fret itself, I heard you, Jay, uh, on the fret board, uh, it won't hurt the wood. And then it does have, you know, a nice arc in the back, should, which should be able to accommodate perfectly fine the radius of the back of the neck. So, um, so I'm gonna use these for clamps and uh, my good old <laughs> syringe of glue here and that's pretty much it so yeah loose ears and repair guitar guitar repair guys if you want to leave comments about how badly i'm doing this that's your prerogative and i don't care so go ahead and do that and maybe you can educate me and everybody else but for now we're going to do this it's going to be an experiment to see what happens if it holds or not as the next videos come out we will find out but anyway repair time let's just do it guitar tuesday all right, so I didn't mention it before, but I did actually uh, end up pulling the nut off of here. Um, it wasn't like held in all that tightly, so I decided to just knock it out so I could get better access to the back of the fretboard itself because I could tell that under here, um, you should be able to see, it's moving quite a bit on the neck. Without the nut there, without the strings on there, it's moving even more than it was before. Hey, um, <laughs> but anyway. Nut is, been, is off and uh, we're just going to start injecting glue. Now, I will say one thing when you're doing this, um, the only thing I can recommend, because I've glued things made out of wood before, uh, that you want to make sure is super strong. Make sure that it does actually come out of the edges, you know, like you want it to squeeze through on these edges. Since it's wood glue that I'm using, I'm just going to have a, like a wet piece of paper towel standing by so I can wipe it down and that will be nice and easy. Um, but that's the name of the game here. Easy and cheap stuff I have in the house to fix my guitar to run this experiment. So let's just, let's just do it. All right, you guys are going to watch. Here we go. I'm going to pull it open here. This is so not the professional way to do this, but <laughs> I'm doing it and it's going to be a fun experiment to see if it actually works. So I'm going to start injecting. That's that. Okay, just so you can see, back and neck, a lot of glue coming out. This actually gives you a better idea of where the crack is. I'm gonna give it a uh, quick wipe, maybe more. <laughs> Should have had more wet paper towel with me here. Capo time, Jay. Let's use my capos. <laughs> My buddy Jay, if in case any of you don't know, I, I've mentioned his name a couple times in videos, but he's a repair guy, he's a builder in Vermont, and he is my go-to guy when I have questions on this kind of stuff. Usually we see eye to eye. Today, this project, he was like, you're doing it the wrong way, but it'll probably work. Um, but anyway, here we go. Let's get these capos on here. Okay, capo number one. I'm gonna put this one right up at the top of the fretboard. Squeeze down nice and tight. Oh boy, yeah, that works perfectly. A lot of glue coming out. I like it, I like it. Of course, now I'm getting glue all over this capo, but it's wood glue, so I can survive. So you guys, that's uh, the conclusion of uh, Guitar Tuesday for this week. And uh, I hope you uh, 
are enjoying the goofiness of these videos. <laughs> and um, stay tuned. Next week we will take the clamps off. Well, I'll take them off sooner than that. But next week you will watch me take the clamps off. And uh, we're going to put the nut on. And I'm just going to string it up right away and just see what the hell happened. If it worked or not. So um, that's it. You guys, subscribe to my channel. See you back on Friday when I come out with another video. I haven't decided what that will be. Feel free to leave comments below if you want to request a video. I like, I like requests and uh, I'm wiping glue off of my bench. <laughs> anyway, you guys, check it out. See you soon. Later.